There has been much curiosity about Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa's relationship, which went from being inseparable to rumors of a breakup. Lisa recently shared details of their interactions, illuminating their bond and difficulties. While everyone adored their strong friendship, things weren't always as they looked. Why did these famous Hollywood people fall out? Stay tuned as we learn more about Lisa Bonet's open comments regarding her relationship with Jason Momoa and the circumstances surrounding their well-publicized breakup. At First Sight The couple's first in-person sighting occurred in 2005, albeit not the first time he had seen her. She was, after all, extremely well-known because of her NBC position. It's hardly surprising, given those muscles, that she recalled how love came and it came big when they first met. However, she stated that instead of fleeing, he practically grabbed her up and threw me over his shoulder like a caveman. Lisa later admitted that one of the first things that made her fall in love with him was his caveman-like conduct. First Break Lisa Bonet began performing in commercials at 11, but received her training as an actress at the Celluloid Actors Studio in Hollywood. But in 1984, everything in her life completely altered. Her life would never be the same after she was cast in her breakthrough role as Denise Huxtable that year. She starred in over 100 episodes of the popular show. She eventually got her show because she was a well-liked figure. A show of her own. Four years into her tenure on The Cosby Show, in 1987, her spinoff, A Different World, debuted. The show, which followed Denise while she was away at college, ended abruptly when some shocking information surfaced. After filming just over 20 episodes for the series, Bonet would find herself written off of a show based on her role. However, what may have caused such to occur? Let go. Once the A Different World producers learned that Bonet was expecting, they decided not to include her in the story. Later that year, she gave birth to her baby and took some time off to focus solely on becoming a mother. The actress returned to The Cosby Show the next year in 1988. However, she left the program in the early 1990s to pursue a career in acting, making an appearance alongside Will Smith in the 1998 movie Enemy of the State. Breaking into Film A few years after her feature debut, Bonet starred with John Cusack in the romantic comedy drama High Fidelity, released in 2000. She made her TV debut as Heather Laliche in the 2002 film Lathe of Heaven. The following year, she returned to the big screen as Queenie in the Biker Boys movie. However, once she tasted the distinctions between film and television, she returned to the original medium, the TV screen in living rooms across America. However, that does not imply that her role in the movie was complete. The actress remarked, I don't feel desperate. I just want to do more movies, beautiful art, and love. It's not about starting a career or developing one. Made for TV Bonet resumed her love of performing for television in 2008 when she landed the part of Detective Maya Daniels in Life on Mars. After that, she continued to perform a few roles in the historical drama Drunk History. She portrayed Marisol Campos on Showtime's criminal thriller Ray Donovan in more recent years. She appeared in the 2017 short film Jelly Wolf, inspired by Chanel's number no. 5 fragrance. The uplifting and spiritual story, directed by Alma Harrell and starring Bonet with Kersey Clemens, has been called an ethereal feminine coming-of-age story. Coupled up Bonet may have stepped back from acting after her most recent part, but her name is often mentioned. Naturally, the main reason for this these days is that she is engaged to one of the biggest stars in the world right now. She has, however, always been drawn to celebrities, even before they realize they'll become as famous as they do. She has a daughter with music icon Lenny Kravitz, with whom she was previously married before meeting her present spouse. Back in the day, Kravitz was not the well-known musician the public currently recognizes him as when he first met Bonet. She co-wrote many tracks with him for Let Love Rule, his breakthrough album in 1989. In an article published in the LA Times that same year, a reporter details how Lenny was misidentified as Mr. Bonet at that point. They would be deeply disappointed because everyone believed the two would be together. 
the couple announced their split in 1993, only a few years later. Rushing in. After only a few dates, Ponet and Kravitz tied the knot. She took things much slower with her second spouse, whom she didn't marry until after the two had been together for 12 years. She told Ebony Magazine that the period with the star was significantly accelerated spiritually and intellectually. Momoa would later say he had known she was the one from the start. However, Bonet might not have had the same initial thoughts. Change of roles. Whenever he is questioned about their relationship, past or present, Bonet's ex-husband gives her a lot of praise. He concurs with her that, even though they were both quite young, Everything went by so quickly, and neither of them has any regrets, particularly since their union brought forth the birth of their lovely daughter, Zoe Kravitz. In an interview with People, he claimed that the co-parent's relationship had evolved into that of a brother and sister. Growing up famous. It's possible that Zoe's varied upbringing contributed to her success as an actress. Growing up as the daughter of a well-known actress and musician must be crazy after all. Talk about an exciting childhood. When the family lived in New York City, Kravitz frequently brought Zoe up from school wearing leather pants and a netted shirt. At one point, he would take her out of school for a month-long trip to the Bahamas. Shaking things up. Life happens to everyone, even those who have it all and are used to a particular lifestyle. Bonet and her daughter were thrown into crisis mode in 1994 when an earthquake damaged their home to the point where they had to live on the streets. Her mother was able to assist them, but it was still a difficult time for everyone. As Bonet later said, we were camping out. Fortunately, they could turn things around and get back on their feet with the support of friends and family. Love and let go. The couple formally divorced in 1993 on mutually agreeable terms to not hurt any parties involved. Gravitz revealed in a 2013 Oprah Masterclass that he and Bonet were very deeply in love and that their relationship was magical, but even so, it wasn't enough to keep the two together through better times or worse. They attribute a lot of personal growth to that relationship and both agreed that it was a precious time for them because they brought Zoe into the world. Mom and Dad like her daughter, Bonet was raised in the entertainment industry due to her father Alan's career as an opera singer. However, her parents' divorce also marked Bonet's early years. Following this separation, Bonet mostly lived with her mother, Arlene, in Los Angeles, though she also spent some time growing up in New York. Following Arlene's death in 1998, Lisa moved in with her father. Black and White Bonet has been outspoken about her experiences growing up mixed in a different era. Actors and actresses in Hollywood still battle stereotypes and typecasting, as Zoe revealed when trying out for The Dark Knight. The casting directors didn't want to go in an urban direction. Bonet's experience wasn't all that different, but she also occasionally felt uncomfortable, even with her mother's side of the family. Different times, same struggles. The actress from The Cosby Show said that she frequently internalized and shut down everything she was feeling about being mixed race and getting roles. Her best statement was that the world wasn't ready. However, Zoe still deals with these kinds of problems in the present day, wondering why it seems that stories can only happen to white people and everyone else is a punchline. Seriously Crushing Despite facing obstacles in her own right as a woman, Bonet managed to maintain her enormous popularity and fan base. One of her most devoted followers also happened to be the man she married. Through her role as Denise on the show, which introduced eight-year-old Jason Momoa to the woman who would become his wife. The actor even went so far as to point at the TV and tell his mother, I want that one. He was determined to pursue his dreams until they came true, and he succeeded when he did once he was given the chance to meet his ideal partner. Lilacoy. Bonet legally changed her name in 1995, just a few years after her divorce from Lenny Kravitz. She went to the courthouse and signed all the paperwork to become Lily Coy Moon, but she continued using her more recognizable previous name in the credits for her TV shows. When asked why she changed her name, she stated it was for privacy reasons. Meet You in Paradise. 
The name she chose is interesting because it sounds Hawaiian, and not long after, she would meet someone from Hawaii who would change her life forever. You guessed it, the Aquaman hunk was born in Hawaii and raised there. Before becoming the actor we all know and love, he pursued a marine biology degree before switching to wildlife biology in college. He began his time in Iowa before relocating to Colorado State. In 1999, Momoa gained his first break in the acting industry when he was cast in Baywatch, Hawaii. Rising Star Momoa began the sort of typecasting of the ruggedly handsome and somewhat funny warrior type when he landed the role of Ronan, the soldier in Stargate Atlantis from 2005 to 2009. His co-workers joked that his character was their version of Chewbacca on Star Wars. He also shared this type of typecasting when he was cast as Conan in 2011's Conan the Barbarian. Game of Thrones Momoa was cast in HBO's Game of Thrones later that year, where he played the role of Cal Drogo, another character who resembled those he had previously played. The fact that the leader of the Dothraki spoke no English and behaved like a savage caveman made it difficult for him to find another role. Fortunately, his next move was to co-write the 2014 film Road to Paloma, which allowed him to display a different side of himself to the public. Initiated into the DC Universe The top-rated television series Game of Thrones has garnered a sizable fan base for Jason Momoa, he was only beginning to establish himself when he found himself in the big leagues with major motion picture stars in 2016 after landing the role of Aquaman in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Due to his success, his character's film was released a few years later, but his career was just starting at that point. Little did he know just how big it would become. Upcoming Works After winning the role of Aquaman, Jason Momoa continued his career in show business. In 2021, he was cast with Dave Bautista and Zendaya in the epic sci-fi film Dune, adapted from a 1965 novel by Frank Herbert. In the movie, the actor plays Duncan Idaho, the master of swords of House Atreides. Later, Momoa returned to the screen in the Apple series C, where he played Baba Voss, the leader of a gang tribe in a dystopian future. Wedding Bells Momoa and Lisa Bonet's official relationship status was established in 2005. Rumors of a marriage, which surfaced just two years after the couple's initial public revelation of their romance, were soon dispelled. The stars did indeed tie the knot after dating for over ten years. The Ceremony When the couple eventually tied the knot, they made every effort to keep the news about their marriage private from the public. In 2017, they held a small private ceremony at their California home, attended only by close friends and family. Sadly, someone leaked the information, so it wasn't long before the news spread, though it wasn't shocking either because most people assumed that Bonet and Momoa had already been married for 10 years. On Parenting As someone who firmly believes in the holistic approach and being at one with nature, Lisa Bonet has made it a rule for the kids not to watch TV. She stated in one interview, I feel strongly about remaining as media-free as we possibly can. She loves that the kids get to use their imaginations more because they aren't watching as much TV as she did as a child. And she especially loves that they can play for hours on end making paper airplanes. On co-parenting, when asked about all of the things she loves about Jason, the list includes his physique, charisma, and responsibility. It just goes to show that Aquaman is a real man. Bonet and Momoa make an excellent team as parents, and she enjoys that he takes on the alpha male role in the relationship. This was born out of the experience of having her father leave her feeling vulnerable as a child due to his lack of presence. Jason's got a girlfriend. Even though the celebrities didn't officially start dating until 2005, Jason knew Lisa Bonet had his heart from a very young age. He remembers seeing Denise Huxtable when he was eight, sitting at home watching TV. She was stunning and easygoing. He knew he had to have her. He even remembers bringing it up and telling his mom that someday he would. On the Hush Even though he was open about his childhood crush, 
He chose not to disclose it to his future wife when they first met. After all, if he had said, Oh my God, I knew I wanted to marry you the first time I saw you on The Cosby Show, things might not have gone as smoothly as they did. Okay, so maybe he was being creepy when he said that he had the thought, I'm going to stalk you for the rest of my life, and I'm going to get you. But fortunately, he didn't have to do that. The Meet Cute They were first in the same vicinity when they met at a jazz club in New York City in 2005. The actor said Bonet was his dream woman, and he knew he couldn't miss the opportunity. They ended up hitting it off, and he reported he convinced her to take me home, since he lived in a hotel at the time, unless Jason Momoa stalked Lisa Bonet and followed her to this club. Freaking out. Everything went exactly as he'd imagined, because things continued to evolve between the two after that introduction, and that night was far from over. Momoa has given accounts of the occasion he met his future wife, telling of how excited he was when she first acknowledged him. All it took was for her to simply introduce herself, and he did the whole arms-waving, shrieking like a teenage girl who just got crowned prom queen thing. Of course, he did it facing away from her to save face and maintain his composure. Love at First Sip the Cosby Show actress revealed that even though he was convinced, she still needed some convincing. Ultimately, all he had to do was pick me up and throw me over his shoulder, caveman style, after they had met at the smooth jazz club where he was with his friends. Before Bonet dropped him off at his hotel, they had stopped at a cafe where they sipped some Guinness and ate grits, which may sound incredibly simple, but it was the moment Momoa knew they were in it for the long run. It came big. Of course, Bonet's open mind and openness to love have kept things remarkable for their extended family and how she stayed best friends with her ex-husband and eldest child's father for so long. It doesn't matter that she used the exact word to describe their first date. It doesn't mean she wouldn't fall just as hard in the future. In fact, over a short period, she remembers that love came and it came big. And her reaction? She welcomed the love with open arms, and the two were in a happy relationship not long after getting to know one another. Dreadlocks Aside from the remarkable coincidence that they both ended up simultaneously in the same NYC club, Momoa swears that their meeting resulted from him being in the right place at the right time. Of course, you can tell it's true love when you're wearing the same hairstyle. Well, not really, but in their case, that's exactly what it was complete opposites. Charmingly, he calls his wife Queen and says she has always been a queen. Bonet's rock star ex-husband, her current husband's friend, Lenny Kravitz, would agree with him. Bonet also talks about how her absent father affected her as a child, and she is impressed that Jason is an alpha male. Once they had their two children, the actor led her in on the secret he'd been crushing since childhood. No Drama Mama Leading a life that includes a gorgeous blended family and spending much time with your ex-husband would require a queen. However, instead of the typical drama between a former spouse and spouse, Lenny and Lisa remain close friends, and Bonet occasionally goes to events with him, usually bringing their daughter Zoe along. One instance was in 2015, when the family appeared at the Met Gala as a unit. Nothing but love. Even though Bonet and her daughter's father may not get together for drinks on the weekend, or perhaps they do, they still get together for family gatherings and important occasions, like Thanksgiving, making it even more astounding that Bonet has remained close friends with her daughter's father. The guys even shared a picture of themselves on Instagram with matching rings on, and it turns out that Momoa had given Kravitz one similar to his from a shop called Leroy's Wooden Tattoos and returned. The family members are very close, and Kravitz recently talked about how much they love each other. I love her husband. He's like a brother to me, the rock legend said. He acknowledged that things were difficult after their initial breakup, but time heals all wounds, and they could move past it and come together to form a strong, blended family. They also like to live by the motto, let love rule. Hand in Hand even though Kravitz and Bonet never planned to be romantically involved, it's clear that they share an unbreakable bond. 
When they showed up at the 2015 Met Gala with their daughter Zoe, they shared a cute family photo of them kissing on the cheeks with the caption, Blood. They both believe that fate brought them together, if only to bring her into the world. Kravitz described their relationship as beautiful and shows you what can be done. Momoa has also grown close to his stepdaughter, even going so far as to call her Zozo Bear. Support System They all trust each other's opinions and know each other well and what we're capable of. So if someone is scared to do something, we encourage them. Zoe concluded her thought with the closing line, because we believe in each other as family. And they all tend to see a lot of each other, so it's great they get along so well. When someone in the blended family lands an exciting new opportunity, they all support one another. Zoe opened up about it all in a recent interview. Family Goals We won't disagree with the Aquaman. With all of the fantastic work he's done on film, they've got some tough contenders, but we're jealous of what the family has going on with all of the love and support that flows freely from family members to family member. Every time Momoa is asked about his family, he beams and has nothing but wonderful things to say. He once referred to them as his greatest work of art. Social Media Momoa is quite active on Instagram, despite his wife's well-known declaration that she doesn't use social media much, especially Facebook, because he needs to satisfy his fans. She may not upload photos of herself, but he can't contain his love for her, so he frequently shares pictures of her on his page. One example is the image above, which he captioned, The way you look at me. Expletive. Love you, woman. My everything followed by a long string of red hearts. Happy Family When a child is still delighted and gets to spend time with both of their parents, you can be sure that parents have succeeded in their split perfectly. Zoe Kravitz, the future Catwoman actress, stated in an interview in 2015, We're a family. We all love each other. We've all worked through whatever issues there have ever been. So we all get along. Love conquers all. Starring Husband and Wife The couple appeared on screen in the drama thriller Momoa co-write in 2014. As for how the two handled filming their private scene, it seems like it went pretty well. After all, as the writer and actor put it, it was like the first night we'd met. The only thing new to them was bringing it on film for the world to see. And once they got things going, they had everything taken care of quickly. We got it in 15 minutes, he said. While Momoa might have been a little uncomfortable with the whole thing, Bonet found it much more accessible considering they had been together for several years. On Love Scenes An actor's career is bound to include a romantic scene or two. Momoa and Bonet have experienced the opposite, witnessing from behind the scenes as their real-life partner woos another character. However, Momoa is adamant about not letting his wife see him with anyone else and goes out of his way to avoid seeing them, even going so far as to prevent her from seeing his sultry Game of Thrones scenes. Hot Stuff But the scenes between Khal Drago and the Mother of Dragons on Game of Thrones couldn't exactly be described as love scenes. In fact, Momoa had gotten himself into trouble with the public, and probably with his wife too, when he commented on liking the fact that his character on Game of Thrones can get away with doing awful things. The actor later apologized for his remarks. Despite Momoa's best efforts to spare his wife from witnessing him tumble around in the sack with Amelia Clark, she couldn't help herself. Matching Tats Over the years, Bonet's daughter and Momoa have become so close that they have matching tattoos on their arms that read Etre Tourge Livre, which translates to Always Be Drunk. They also have the same tattoo as Jamie Sives, Momoa's co-star on Game of Thrones, who plays Jory Castle in the show's first season. There are a few different theories as to what their tattoos represent. The most popular one is that it's a reference to the 19th century poet Charles Baudelaire, who uses a similar line in one of his poems. The less popular version is that it's a reference to a Beyoncé song. However, the family does have a history with Queen Bey, so it's not entirely out of the question. On Style Not too long ago, Momoa and Bonet turned heads at the Oscars in their matching pink velvet suit by Fendi 
and their gorgeous matching gown by Bonnet. The Aquaman star and his magnificent wife always makes an impression when they show up together on the red carpets, but lately their excellent sense and senses of style has evolved even further, if possible. Take, for example, when the two went out on the town in Rome, dressed like golden gods and goddesses. Family photos. Even though Zoe has experienced a fair share of the red carpet, there's a good chance that Bonet and Momoa's children will also eventually grace the screens with their presence. For now, though, they're content to attend events on the red carpet with their parents. For example, they took Lola to a private Lion King screening on her birthday, which was a little more laid back than the usual red carpet, but it was still there. Or Lola and Nicoa Wolf went with them to an early showing of Abominable. It made him cry. As it turns out, Momoa shares many of our emotions regarding crying during all the heartbreaking scenes in The Lion King. The family attended a private film screening for Lola's 12th birthday, and even though everyone enjoyed it, Momoa became a little emotional in the theater. The actor shared a picture of the group in front of the poster on Instagram, stating that it made him cry numerous times. And boy, do fans love to see a different side of him than they're used to. After all, Khal Drogo probably wouldn't break down in tears when a big cat dies. Joker Momoa caused a stir in the fashion industry when he attended the Joker movie premiere, donning an outfit strikingly similar to the purple suit of the title character. Naturally, the actor would show up to promote the enormously successful film because it is a part of the DC Universe. However, since he and his stepdaughter have become part of the DCU, he is abandoning everything Marvel. Philanthropy After giving a stirring speech to the United Nations about the effects of climate change on smaller island nations, the actor shared a photo from the event on Instagram with the caption, That was a life-changing moment, a true honor to represent island nations at the UN. After all, having been born and raised in Hawaii, he can relate to the fears that the people on the islands must feel regarding their home's future. Famous Fans Lisa Bonet has significantly influenced more people than just Jason Momoa. Queen Bey honored the former Cosby Show star by dressing up as her for a social media project. The music star wore a hat and outfit Bonet had worn in pictures of herself holding Zoe as a baby. Beyonce held the twins instead. Zoe found the pictures funny and retorted, Is Beyonce also my mom now? All the love. Fans of Beyonce's tribute to Lisa Bonet poured into the comment section saying, Beyonce as Lisa Bonet has to be one of the best things I've ever seen. Another fan agreed, saying they love how the superstar puts other influential black women on the radar of new generations. It's possible that some members of the younger generation haven't heard of Lisa Bonet, but the queen herself decided to revive her and show her off to younger people by posing as her on social media. Seeing things differently. Momoa's relationship with his wife has changed, but in the best way possible because of his role in Apple TV's series, C. Momoa plays a blind man in the series, something new for him. In a recent interview with People, he said that the entire experience has made him more aware of Bonet and has helped him learn to feel energies and auras instead of taking things in as they are seen. Now I'm a little bit more attentive to my wife's energy, he said. Regarding baby names Considering that Bonet changed her name to Lilacoy Moon back in the 1990s, it should not be surprising that Momoa and Bonet's children have names that are anything but conventional. When their daughter was born in 2007, they named her Lola Lalani, which means Royal Hawk, because they saw hawks flying around overhead during the birth. Their son, Nakoa Wolf, has a much longer name on his birth certificate, Nakoa Wolf Manakoa Upo Namakaaiha. Defending her king. The couple and host model Ashley Graham had a slightly awkward moment on the red carpet during the Academy Awards. As the model asked Momoa to perform the haka dance from Game of Thrones, it did not go over well with him or his wife. He glanced in Bonet's direction and both stared back at the host with expressions that said, you cannot be serious right now, before Bonet politely declined him. 
After all, in a costly suit, the man tried to enjoy a night out with his wife on the red carpet. Future Goals Momoa's acting career is still developing, but Bonet has stepped back from it. She says she would instead concentrate on her family and other artistic endeavors, but she isn't as interested in being on screen. She claims that acting was how she made her way, but we can respect that. However, the fans hope to see more of you in the future. She hasn't completely ruled out the possibility of acting, so perhaps it's not out of the question. A new beginning or an end? Bonet and Momoa surprised everyone in January 2022 by revealing their separation via Instagram. The announcement was worded very appropriately for the couple. They said that although their marriage is over, their love is evolving in a different direction. They also expressed their devotion to each other and their family and kindly requested information about this new chapter of their lives away from the spotlight. We hope they find their way back to each other or a different place of peace and happiness. Knowing them, we have a feeling they will be all right. If you've watched the video till here, that means you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notifications bell icon.